Welcome back. In this exercise tutorial, we'll be creating a flange. It's also going to be a part created using metric units. Let's select the standard part document in millimeters and click OK. Sketch 1 is active. My first step will be to create an equilateral triangle. Let's activate the line tool. And let's snap the first point of my line to the origin point. The first line will be 50 millimeters long at 60 degrees. Now the second line, 50 millimeters long, also at 60 degrees. Now my third line. What we can do here is just right click and select close. Now let's apply the fillet command. 5 millimeters. Make my selection to all three corners. And finally, let's select these two lines. Here's my last fillet. Let's close the fillet command window. It's a little bit hard to see right now, but you'll notice when I mouse over the line, it actually didn't get trimmed. That's going to be a problem for us later on when we create the solid. Let's leave it for now so we can see how to fix it later on. The next thing I need to do is find the center of the triangle. There's a few different ways to do this, but what I'm going to do is place a tangent circle. The circle will have tangency with the three lines of my triangle, and thus the center of the circle will be the center of my triangle. Here's my third tangent line, and there's the center of both my triangle and circle. Let's create a vertical line now, starting from the center point of the fillet arc. The length of the line itself doesn't matter, it just needs to cross this arc. Offset Entities tool next. Let's select my new line. We'll offset it on both sides. Now let's bring in the Dimension tool. We'll place our dimensions up here. Let's make this one 2 millimeters, OK. Same thing on this side. 2 millimeters also, and OK. Let's bring in the Circle tool now. We'll snap the center point here, and the radius here. Let's activate the Trim tool now. OK, our geometry is now ready to be patterned. Let's activate the Circular Pattern tool. Geometry, we'll select it, the arc, and these two lines. The center of the pattern is going to be the center of my triangle. Number of instances, 3. And let's click OK. Let's activate the Trim Entities tool. Just tidy up our work a little bit. And let's drop a couple more circles. This one will have a diameter of 20 millimeters. Press Enter to accept. And the third circle, co-radial, will have a 16 millimeter diameter. Enter to accept. Escape to exit the tool. Now I'll select and delete this circle. The status bar tells us that six dimensions are still needed. Let's activate the Auto Dimension command. Apply, and done. It looks like the only dimension missing was from this construction line. This line doesn't really need dimensions, but let's apply the dimension anyway. We'll just accept the default value. OK, and let's exit our sketch. Click Finish Sketch. Now let's see what happens when I try to create the solid. You see that dangling segment that I showed you earlier is more visible now. Let's activate the Extrude command. Notice now I'm not able to select this region. Let's cancel out of the Extrude dialog window. Double click on the sketch so we can edit it. Let's activate the Trim command and delete that extra segment. Exit our sketch, finish sketch, and back to the Extrude command. Let's make the depth 2 millimeters. OK. Now right-click on Sketch 1 and select Share Sketch. Back to the Extrude command. Let's create a 10 millimeter extrusion now. And click OK. Let's hide Sketch 1. We'll right-click and unselect Visibility. OK, our model is really taking shape and we're almost done. I'm going to apply some fillets and chamfers to my part. 
Generally speaking, it's a good idea to apply edge fillets at the solid level rather than at the sketch level. The reason for this is that it's just simply easier to edit your part later on. Also, it's less confusing. Let's activate the fillet command. We'll use a 0.5 millimeter radius. And let's use the loop mode. First loop. Second loop. Third loop here. Now the outer edge of this cylindrical object and the inner ring. Let's click OK. And activate the chamfer command now. The chamfer distance also 0.5 millimeters. Let's select these two edges and click OK. And here's our finished model. And this concludes exercise 59.